Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not. Excuse me. The fact that he felt entitled enough, this guy, to walk up on the stage and push me aside, basically walk me to the side as if I'm out of place. Welcome to It Takes Two. I'm Blair. I'm Chris. And today we have another scenario for what is the scenario. Check out this video, y'all. Blair. Yes. After watching the video, we just watched the video. Yes. What is your first thoughts? I want to hear your thoughts first. You want to hear my thoughts first? <laughs> yes. You want me to jump in the water? I want you to jump first. Okay, I'm going to jump. Okay. I feel like that superintendent uh, personally made Martin Luther King proud. Hmm. Very proud. Nonviolence, nonviolence. Hmm. Right? Because if I was a superintendent and someone walked up on that stage and like pushed me to the side, basically like, don't touch my daughter. It wouldn't, have, it, it, it wouldn't have just been a conversation of, get your hands off me, bro. Mm. The fact that he felt entitled enough, this guy, to walk up on the stage and push me aside, basically walk me to the side as if I'm out of place, yeah. is crazy when I'm the superintendent of basically like the school and things of that nature. So I just want to give respect to him because a lot of people like to say things such as like, I will lose my job, like me, or, or like fight and things like that. I, I, there is something to professionalism yeah. that, um, that, that I like, that, that he kept a cool head. Because at the end of the day, it is about the kids. It's the kids' graduation. Um, the daughter looked mortified, you know, as if like, you know, her father doing something that she never seen before, which is crazy. Um, so I want to give respect to him. To Now, to add also... I promise you that'd be the last time somebody walk up on me because mm. I'm going to have cops. I'm a, You will go to jail today mm. if you approach me in that way, because I'm thinking you're in Wisconsin. I, listen here. I never been that far Midwest. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? But um, I don't know what's going on in that region to where you feel like it's like back in the old, old days. But I'm sure he went through some trials and tribulations to get to where he is. Talk about the superintendent. Right. And I'm and, and me being where I'm at in my job, you are not going to be that trial and tribulation. You will go to jail. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I definitely applaud the superintendent for keeping his cool the way yeah. he did. Mm -hmm. And even for them to continue on with the graduation to celebrate the graduates mm -hmm. um, of the year. Um, I kind of part of me wishes that the school would have made a statement right then and there yeah. instead of just like business as usual. Mm -hmm. um, because at least to me, and I saw that there were people around him talking to him. So maybe people were checking on him to make sure he was good. Yeah. Um, but I would have liked to see the school kind of take a vocal position or at mm -hmm. least the person who had the mic to say, this is unacceptable. If anybody else has a thought of doing this, do not do it. You will be charged. Like, mm -hmm. I would have liked to hear some reprimanding going on in that moment yeah. on his behalf. Because I kind of felt like, in a way, that it may have felt... I mean, he was also the only black person I saw Fact. standing up there Me as too. well. Yep. So I was thinking, that kind of feels like he's on his own. You know? And mm -hmm. it's just like, okay, we got everything back situated. All right, let's move on. And it's just like, um, this person was assaulted. <laughs> mm. like let's acknowledge that you know mm -hmm. and let's make it clear that this is ridiculous and um just not going to be tolerated and i just feel like that that wasn't that wasn't done and i think that with 
Trump and just kind of how the country mm-hmm. is and how and how some people have been emboldened by the way that he talks yeah. and all that type of stuff. Number one, I do think that it gets people bold enough to get up out of their chair to assault people mm-hmm. or to say crazy things that they might typically um, do in their home but not do out in public. Yeah. And then I also think that some people in the position standing next to him probably weren't going to speak out because maybe they have some of those thoughts but mm. they're not the type to actually go out and act on them they're not bold right they're not mm. bold enough to act on it but they're also not going to be bold enough to um shut it down mm. and, and make a vocal mm-hmm. um example of what we don't permit um in this school and then i did read the article where they said he was charged with disorderly conduct yeah which was great but i i would have liked somebody to kind of been up in arms on that superintendent's behalf because that that was really um that was really out of line. I I, I have a question mm-hmm. on on your premise. Right? Okay. I'm not going against it. I just want to flip it a little bit, right? Do you think do you think his title kind of played a part in why everybody didn't rush to his aid? Meaning like he walks into school, he is the head honcho. Okay. He is he is the boss. So not a lot of people will feel the need to run to the boss aid compared if this was like a teacher. Okay. Compared to if this was an administrator, someone who who was a secretary, do you think like maybe his title played a position of why everybody was kind of like shocked, like what is going on? Um, possibly, but I feel like it was more of his race. Yeah, me you too. Know, I, I was trying to get him out. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to give you a little bail, no, but you know. Yeah, I, I think that if it were to have been um, a white person, a white mm-hmm. man, or a white lady who was superintendent, and I'm trying to pick my words carefully. You're doing a good job. (laughs) But I feel like if he wasn't uh, the person, he was a black man, Mm -hmm. that maybe there would have been more people kind of up in arms about it. And it just seemed like, okay, that was awkward. That was weird, but let's move on. And I was just like, okay, nobody seemed to care. And that, and that didn't sit well with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am a big example of, of, oh, baby. I'm sorry. And let me just say that. I don't want to say nobody cared because clearly one person ran over to him to kind of help mm-hmm. get the person away. And then the man was escorted out. Um, so I don't want to say that nobody cared because yeah. I did see people jumping into action, which I can acknowledge. Yeah. But um, I just wish somebody would have um, spoke out about it in the moment. Yeah. So outside of just complete racism, I think it's a lot of layers to it. Right. For one, he's a man. He's a black man. He is a man of, of power. So not a lot of people are going to jump to basically to his aid and also something weird just happened yeah like 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 somebody just came on stage and some people could be shocked and not know what to do or say exactly Mm -hmm. and and everybody is not what's the word bold enough to basically be like what are you doing sit down somewhere especially when you just basically cause confusion right you get what i'm saying but i am a big component of sometimes you got to make an example out of one person just in case you don't embolden everybody else right? right i'm not saying that superintendent should have fought that man but there has to be public ramifications for that guy mm-hmm. right because i don't know what he go through in his everyday life and his everyday work experience and his everyday of just being a black person i don't know so i'm not i'm not i'm, I'm not gonna preach the plight of the black man on here right mm-hmm. but i will say for something like this for a, a, a guy to come on stage right when his daughter about to get her high school diploma and to basically walk him out the frame on some don't touch my daughter. Oh, we got to make a public example out of you. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, 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 so people will know that for one, respect my authority as superintendent. Number two, respect me as a human being. And number three, don't come on the stage. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And even if that's something as simple as the cops is right there and, and, and like whatever happened, you will go to jail for the weekend and things of that nature. But I do agree with Blair that even though it is not assault, in the way that we may picture assault, um, it's not it's not only disorderly conduct. Yeah, it's I, more than that. I want more than disorderly conduct. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. I want. I don't know what I want, but I want him in jail tonight. You know what I, I'm saying? I would. I would consider it assault. Yeah. I would consider it assault because mm-hmm. I'm like that's just wild. Mm-hmm. Do you agree with some people basically saying because this is how. This is what some people say online. This is not my words. Okay. Some people saying that the superintendent should use his power to basically be like because you did that to me. Your daughter would not get her diploma. No, you can't retaliate exactly. against a child like that. You can't. That's, That's why I'm not superintendent. Yeah. You know? Yeah, no, you can't do that. Yeah. I mean, she did the work to graduate school mm-hmm. and she shouldn't have to pay for the sins of her father. Yeah. But I think y'all should lay the book down on the daddy. <laughs> so 
<laughs> if I was superintendent, I would have been like ninth grade for you, okay? Like, like, like it just uh, this just shows that God has people in the right position. Mm. I can't, I can't have that power. Yeah, I, I can't have that power. I'm happy, and I don't want him to feel like because sometimes, as as black people or even as white people whoever y'all are right that you may feel like oh i should have did something in the moment Mm -hmm. i want him the superintendent guy to feel like you did you did well yeah i'm not i'm not going to talk bad about you i'm not going to say you should have did more you did exactly what basically the job entails you you was an example Mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying Mm -hmm. anything else um just kind of final thoughts um it's just a shame that and 2024 just, in 2024 <laughs> but i'm just like period that i mean you can't even go to a graduation and do your job and congratulate students mm-hmm. without racism rearing its ugly head mm-hmm. like it's just it's a disease of the country that the country was founded on and yeah. it's in the fibers of the country yeah and it's just like and then having people like trump here to kind of like uh what is it flame the fires and getting a uh, stoke the fires and mm-hmm. getting people all riled up to actually be physical with other people um it's just disgusting it's yeah. just disgusting to see and i just hope and pray that people protect themselves and their families mm-hmm. and just kind of like try your best i mean i know you can't avoid crazy people <laughs> Mm -hmm. They're everywhere, but just kind of trying to keep your mental in a space to where people like that um, don't bring you down and stop you from doing what you need to do in life. A hundred percent. Yeah. But I also read in the article that people were saying there were some complaints against the superintendent. Mm. I don't know what the complaints were. If it wasn't criminal, then I don't know what we're talking about. Whatever. So I don't even know why that's brought to our attention. That there were complaints. Even more reason to make him an example. (laughs) Yeah. It's just kind of like you want us to tell us that there's complaints but don't want to tell us what the complaints are so so that way we can think that is justified what happened to him no No. y'all wilding absolutely not y'all wilding Mm -hmm. anything else that's all i got man let us know what y'all thought about that video in the comments below man listen here to all my people be safe to all the other people that's making y'all look bad and stuff like that be safe as well Mm -hmm. anything else that's it y'all be good bye